don't really understand why he keeps going back to this well of, of more and more and more tariffs. Let me explain why. Let's take China. Uh, let's take an example that every American understands, TikTok. Everybody knows TikTok. Uh, American people made, people made a decision in Congress to ban it on midnight Jan 19th. The supreme leader of China said, no, we're going to use your court systems to litigate the American people so that doesn't happen. I can't do that in China. The supreme leader would never let me do that. I can't protect my IP there. Chinese have been screwing my 45 businesses for 35 years. I like the idea of going to war with China with tariffs to change behavior. But they, it didn't change behavior. All it did because was hurt American companies. Because we weak leadership that doesn't know how to implement. This is the same leadership. It was no, no. Trump who, it's, who no, no, launched it started the with trade Biden, war with Then it was Clinton saying, let's democratize China, let's show them democracy, and they'll play far in the double. But, but, to, play Ken, fair no, but to Catherine's no. point, it's she's saying. It's time to raise tariffs on China to wait, 400%. Trump, hang on a second. Trump already raised tariffs on China. Not there, enough. Not there enough. There have been many studies the showing that U.S. companies and consumers you know, are the ones who the bore the cost. I academic study. I'm doing okay, real okay. business in China. I'm actually okay. doing business there. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually working American there. Companies, There's no academics in my country. Where do you think they buy their inputs from? Uh, let me explain something to you. From China. The Chinese it steal my American IP. They make the same product with the molds that I pay for there. Okay. They ship them into this country under a different brand. I don't like it anymore, and I've been trying to solve this for 30 years. If you tariff years. everything from China... At There's no 60%. academic in my world. I'm an. I'm a. I'm You're going to be paying more for the stuff you buy. You're going to be paying more for the stuff you buy. They knew even in the 1600s no, no, that you should I'm not tariff right. the input. Kevin, let's, let's take, let's, let's, let's just let take a, a yoga every mat. Every American. Kevin, Put a 400 percent tariff on a yoga mat. We'll make it in Vietnam or make it in India or make it in America. We won't buy anything from China. And the it Supreme will still be will more come, expensive. He'll come it to New York. It will be more expensive. No, 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 no. Absolutely, it will. We won't buy it from there. Wait, what do you mean we won't also, buy it Hold from on, there? hold on one second, because I, I, I get the Why back and Why are you raising forth, the price? But, but, Kevin, you're having a different... This is always what happens when we talk about Trump and the economy. Mm -hmm. People come no, on here... Trump. Hang on, I'm hang on. No, Trump. no, no, just, just hang on. People come on the show, and then they defend a different economic policy that, than the one that Trump mm -hmm. is advocating. He says in the clip, what am I going to do, negotiate with China or Mexico? He doesn't want to negotiate. He says, you're not going to get anything from them. Okay? That's what he says. He does not want to negotiate. Also, the question I asked you is, where is the rest of the plan? Where is the rest of the economic plan? Well, why don't you what? just look at his track record for the last, you know, the term that he had, no inflation, fantastic wage growth. I mean, look, the, he actually sat in the seat at You've the White House. You've got 2020. You may not like what you he know, did. President you may not like Trump him, was president in 2020. But I don't remember 9% inflation when he was I, I remember 18% unemployment. I mean, I remember... What happened when that was going on? Oh, a pandemic that he bungled. But you're, are you saying he created the virus? No, but he absolutely the... made it worse. How? By lying you're saying, you're... about the risk, by telling people <laughs> not to get tested, you're don't saying, get tested. You're saying he should have personally cured the virus as no, the president. No, I'm saying he should have given that. his she tests to Americans she, rather she, than she to She did food. not say that. I mean, but, but Scott, okay. I mean, I right. mean I'm, I'm sorry. This, this, yeah. idea, this idea that somehow because Trump was the president that the virus has political proclivities and decided to prolong itself has been crazy. No, no, since no. no. Let's just say you don't though. think leadership Let's mattered at all the virus? No, I don't, actually. You don't? I don't believe the virus listens to politicians. You don't think it matters? that Trump withheld various kinds of testing kits and PPE from states that were asking for it, and then he told them to go buy it themselves. You, and then he, you think he, that was the masks? Is that what you think? And then he outbid them <laughs> for on. it, so they Is couldn't buy it. And the then he sent it to Putin. No. No. I was talking about virus. I, I do want to get back to the economic I mean, you are implicitly by, here, by pretending it didn't Scott, happen. Yeah. Republicans keep saying that this election is about the economy. Now, I guess it's maybe also about immigration, but it yeah. is about the economy when you ask voters. And, and again, like, I'm wondering, what else is Trump planning on doing, and can he articulate it? Well, to me, to be, I think it's a great question, and it needs to be fleshed out. I think we should probably play the clip, though, of Harris from the Chicago Economic Club or the... Oh, do we not have it? Because she didn't show up to talk. So here, here's what I think. He's going to extend the tax cuts. He's going to rein in the federal government and the overburdensome regulatory state, which he can now do because of the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. And he's going to take on these countries that screw American workers. That's the plan. And oh, no, by the way, he's going to—he's going to—he's going to crack down. He's going to crack down on immigration to the benefit of American he's workers. Gonna deport, he's going to deport—he's going to deport 20 million people, the people who pick your crops, the pe people who process your meat, the people who you know uh, care for your grandmother. 
the people who serve all sorts of critical functions in this country, yeah, he's going to deport a lot of people, and that's going to worsen the economy. In fact, there have been, I don't know, like a dozen different independent economic analyses from, again, independent economic analyses from Goldman Sachs, AEI, Brookings, Nomera, uh, Peterson Institute, Look, like all of them I know find... your argument. If you want to run on more illegal immigration as a Democrat, go ahead. I just don't think it's going want, to work in the election. He wants to deport 20... I'm, I'm not done with his... I know what his economic policy is because he has talked about it. He doesn't understand how any of it would work, but he has talked about it. He wants 10% global tariffs, which would worsen inflation. Mm -hmm. He wants to deport 20 million people, which would worsen inflation and reduce growth. He wants to politicize the Federal Reserve, which would worsen inflation. He wants to devalue the dollar, which would worsen inflation. And after all that, all of these half things... 